Here we go. Okay, go. Good afternoon. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church on the first of March and the last of the season of Epiphany, Shrove Tuesday today. That was Hannah Adina, our friend, on hymn 529. Welcome. Hallelujah. That's the season which some call a a little bit of ordinary time. It's sort of the elastic waistband of the church calendar between the season of the Incarnation and Easter. As that draws to an end, we celebrate. And tonight we gather for pancakes. It's our big Episcopal blowout for Mardi Gras. Pancakes here in Holy Trinity's own parish hall at 5.30. So we welcome you to today to our last session of worship during the season of ordinary time for several months until, until the, the feast of the Pentecost and invite you to make ready. So please join us in this worship, in saying a final few hallelujahs, and in our prayers, which you may find uh, online at the Noonday button at our site, trinityjuno.org. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Lord, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. 
The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 28. We'll read this together. O Lord, I call to you, my rock, do not be deaf to my cry, lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers, who speak peaceably with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doings, nor of the works of his hands. Therefore he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I have been helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Today we continue our reading in the letter to the Philippians at chapter 3. Finally, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is not troublesome to me, and for you it is a safeguard. Beware of the dogs. Beware of the evil workers. Beware of those who mutilate the flesh. For it is we who are the circumcision, who worship in the Spirit of God and boast in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh, even though I too have reason for confidence in the flesh. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew, born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as lost because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as lost because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Pray for the people of the Ukraine this day. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Lord, hear our prayer, and, and let our cry come to you. Let us together pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in this life be a light for all to see and every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others, as so many others have been examples to us, through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anne. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, Give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. We pray this day for all who are traveling, especially those who are compelled to travel, those who are put on the road, in, in fleeing from violence, in fleeing to safety, in seeking refuge. We pray for all of the refugees, O Lord, of the world. We pray for those who receive them. Especially this day, we remember the fortitude of the friends in Poland who have provided refuge to many who are flooding into their country from the the siege of the Russians next door. We pray for those in our, own, in our own population who are on the road and pray for their safe travel. We pray that this diminishment in the number of cases and this gradual lessening of death from our suffering of the, of the pandemic, that it become permanent, that it may become removed from us and from the world. We offer up prayers for individuals. Gail. For Mo. For the repose of the soul of her aunt. Today, we offer congratulations to all our friends named David. This is the Feast of David of Wales. Almighty God, you called your servant David to be a faithful and wise steward of your mysteries for the people of Wales. Mercifully grant that following his purity of life and zeal for the gospel of Christ, we may with him praise you both here on earth and also in your everlasting kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let our eyes be your eyes, sharing compassion, warmth, and love. Let our hands be your hands, bringing healing with their touch. Let our ears be your ears, listening where there is need. Let our words be your words, bringing comfort 
joy, and peace. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. May God grant to the world justice, truth, and peace. Amen. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.